Hi, Mark here, Trust Your Well. In today's Lightroom Classic, quick tip. I'm hopefully going to share with you a little secret functionality in the before and after view for Lightroom Classic. Now, before I do that, I'd like to tell you about my Lightroom Shorts that I host most weeks where for around about half an hour, we concentrate live on Zoom on a particular narrative. So for example, we could be exploring the tone curve and a particular section within that tone curve. And we focus down on perhaps the color channel within the tone curve. And we really explore what that's going to do. These free events are hosted on Zoom. And if you'd like to come and join us for these free Lightroom Shorts, just visit lightroom.support, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive the details of when our next live Lightroom support events are happening. Now, without any further ado, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. Here I am in Lightroom Classic, and this is an image that I'm currently editing. I think it needs a little bit more dodging and burning in the valley to bring out those details. But I want to compare it to what it was before. And you're probably aware that if I press the backslash key on the keyboard, it jumps to before. Press it again and it goes back to where I am in my status. I can do the same by pressing the letter Y on my keyboard or come down to the Y Y box down the bottom left hand corner. And I get the before and after. I can change the orientation if I wish. So next to the Y Y box, the little triangle. And you can select whether you want it top and bottom. So you could have a landscape image or a panoramic, or perhaps you're left-handed and you want the after on the left and the before on the right. So you can swap them around. To help you a little bit further, concentrate on the image. If you press tab, it gets rid of the panel or shift tab if you've got all four panels open. Then press L for lights, goes into dim mode. Press L again, it goes into dark mode. So now the in user interface is totally disappeared and you can concentrate on the image. Press L again, it brings you back. But I want to compare the black and white image. That's what I'm doing. I'm editing a black and white now, not a color. And by pressing the backslash, I go to the color. So here's your little secret tip. If I go to the history panel, and this can be for any edit, any point of your process, your workflow of editing. You select where you want the before and after to reference. So the after is always going to be at the top of the history, but where does the before go to? So you highlight that point. So it could be you're doing some sharpening and you can change this as well. You can. As you go through your workflow, you can change where you want the before and after to go to. So I've highlighted the convert to black and white. Right click, you want the middle option, copy history step setting to before. Press there. Now if I go into my develop module, and now if I go Y, you can see my before is when I converted it to black and white, and after is the edits. I hope this helped you today. And if you'd like to know more about my live Lightroom support sessions, just visit lightroom.support, sign up for my newsletter, and uh, you'll know more about my Lightroom support groups. Take care, stay safe, bye for now.